All right, there we go. All right, hi again, fourth graders. It's Mr. Steinberg. Um, in this video, which I hope to keep a little bit more brief than the previous one, I want to show you what I do when I have to compare numbers. I have to compare uh, whole numbers. So remember, when you're comparing, what you're actually doing is you're trying to, to decide. Um, is one number greater than the other? Is one number less than the other? Or are both numbers uh, equal or equivalent? Uh, equal and equivalent mean the same thing. So that's Whenever you see the word compare, that's what they're asking. They're asking to find out, is one greater than the other? Is one less than the other? Or are they equal or equivalent? Um, so that's what that's what we're looking for here. In fact, I should probably do that in, um, there you go. All right, just to be fair. OK, so let's take a look. And, and what I do, honestly, I just use place value. That's all I do. Uh, so let's take a look. Let's say we're given uh, two numbers here. Um, we'll start. Uh, we'll start small. Let's say we're given um, uh, 327, and then we have to compare that to uh, 237. So what I do is I set them up um, like this. Actually, I kind of like to set them up on top of each other, but you can do it a different way. You can just have it like out here like this and then over here can be the second one and the first thing I do is I start with the uh, largest place value and they both have a number in the hundreds place value right you'll notice that the largest place value for this one is the hundreds so you just have to ask yourself what's larger uh, 300 or 200 and in this case, this number happens to be greater because the number in the hundreds column or the hundreds place value is larger. Three, uh, 300 is going to be larger than 200. Okay, so then what happens if, um, let's say we have to change things up. What happens if you have two numbers that are, they, have, they share the same digit or, the, I'm sorry, the same value? Let's say uh, they both have a number in the hundreds. There's 327 and there's 337. So when you look at those two, there's 327 and there's 337. Well, which one's greater? Well, you start with the hundreds place value because they both have a number. That's their largest place value is the hundreds. So you look here. Well, they both have three groups of 100 or three, so we can't use that one to compare. Now you move over to the tens, right? So we go back to the, we go to the next one, which is the tens place value. One of them has a two, which is 20. One of them has a three, which is 30. So which one's greater, 20 or 30? Well, this one's greater because that represents 30, where this only represents 20. Now this one down here represented 300, and so did this one over here. So you're dealing with 320 versus 330. Well, 330 is greater. So let's do a couple more examples. And again, I'm just using place value. That's all I'm doing. Um, let's take, uh, I'll put it out here. Um, let's go, um, 57,921 and compare 57,922. Oh my goodness. So here's where we start. You start with the greatest place value, which would be the 10,000s. Well, they both have five groups of 10,000. So you can't compare them because they're still equal. Then you move over to the thousands and start comparing the thousands. Well, they both have seven groups of a thousand or seven thousand. So far, they're still equal. Move over to the hundreds. Well, they both have nine groups of 100, so they're still equal. Move over to the tens. They both have two groups of 10. <clears throat> so finally, you come down to the ones, and you notice that this one 
has a two or the other one has a one, so this one is larger. So if you were had if you had to compare them, what you would do is you would write the numbers fifty seven thousand nine hundred twenty one compared to fifty seven thousand nine hundred twenty two. Well. 57,922 is going to be greater than 57,921 by 1. It's just one digit higher in the ones column. Let's do an example where um, the number is really large, but, um, but one of them is missing a place value. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say we have a, a, a number, let's say um, 574,000, and they want you to compare that one to 74,000. And you're thinking to yourself, why is he doing this? Like this, this seems pretty easy. Well, sometimes you're asked to compare numbers and they're trying to kind of trick us. They're saying, well, they want you to notice that a lot of the place values are the same, but there's one thing that's missing here. Right, there's one thing that's missing. The number on the bottom, the 70, 74,000, doesn't have anything in the hundreds, uh, the hundred thousand place value. So automatically, when you compare them, um, the group, this group right here, the five groups of hundred thousand, is going to be much larger than nothing. So if you have to compare them, they're going to say which one's larger. Well, I think it's pretty clear that if you have 574,000 and you're just comparing it to 74,000, 574,000 is going to be larger because this number has a digit on the hundreds, uh, 100,000 place value, where this one over here does not. There's nothing there. All right, let's do one more. Let's just do one more. I guess we can make it kind of tricky. I guess it's really not too tricky, you know, because um, you just go from largest place value all the way down to the smallest. Um, and as you go through, you just compare them. So let's take a look at, we'll do 4,940,000. Four million nine hundred forty eight thousand uh, nine hundred ninety nine. Now sometimes they like to trick us. They like to throw those nines in there to make one number seem larger. But you you have to just kind of focus on the place value and start using that process of elimination. So let's let's take a look. Let's compare them. So you start with the millions place value because that's the greatest, and you notice they both have a four. So four groups of a million or four million. At this point, they're still equal. Move over to the hundred thousands. They both have a group of nine. Well, so far, they're still equal. Then to the ten thousands. So far, they're still equal. They both have a group of uh, four groups of ten thousand. Now we get to the thousands, and you notice that one of them has seven groups and the other has eight. Well, eight's going to be larger than seven. Even though if you move on to the hundreds, even though we don't need to, you'll notice that in the from the hundreds to the tens to the ones, the number on the bottom, you know, seems to be a lot larger. And actually, yes, this one turned out to be larger. I think I, I should have switched them up. But in any case, you don't have to go to the hundreds, tens, or ones because we found what we need right here in the thousands column. And so if you wanted to write it out, you would have uh, 4,947,294, 4,947,294, compared to 4,948,999. I messed up that little nine. And then you would say, OK, well, this one's larger because in the thousands place value, the eight is bigger than the seven. And that's where that's where we found it. We found we found the comparison in the thousands place value. I think I have time for one more. I know I'm doing a lot of talking. Let me see if I can make it tricky. Oh, oh I can't erase anymore. Looks like I did too much of that. 
So I'll just get rid of those. Okay, I'll fill it up with some numbers here. So let's say we have uh, 67,111, and over here we have um, 67,099. Okay, so here you can see, again, just kind of go through your, your place value progression here, right? Uh, six groups here. Both of them have six groups of 10,000s. They both have seven groups of 1,000. Now here, the one on the bottom, the one on the top has a, a one group of 100 where the other one has zero, but then there's a 99 right here. Sometimes we look at the 99 and we think, well, that has to be larger because nines are bigger than ones, but that's where sticking with the place values, sticking with the progression, we found our comparison here, right here in the hundreds place value. So we know that 67,111 is going to be larger than 67,099. And all because we found in the hundreds place value, there's a one here and there's a zero here. Okay, that's all. If you have any questions or need any help comparing numbers, um, let me know. And, and right now we're lucky because these are whole numbers. So if, you, if you're having trouble reading whole numbers or comparing them, please reach out for help. Thank you.